Hello viewers, here is a Ken Brown Fian. This is a 14 inch high velocity floor Fian, model number VF-14. It calls for the 120 volts, the AC, the 60 hertz, at the 50 watts. And it is the thermally protected protection thermiki made in China. Oh, made in China. Manufacturing date 0121. And I, that could very well be uh, January 2021 because this was purchased recently. I don't really know anything about the Ken Brown's brand. It's not a brand that I've heard of before. Lamont showed me this VN. He said he thought it was pretty good. And the video that he showed me of the VN showed it with quite a good startup sounds. And then I got this one, and you know, like it doesn't have the startup sounds, which seems to be a going trend, though. Like with uh, even with the last Go 3733, for instance, some of them have startup sounds and some of them don't. This inherently is one of the ones that doesn't. But that's fine, it's still, you know, a good fian. So, what's kind of notable about this particular fian is that it has ball bearings. And I think that's very significant because a lot of the fians today fail as a result of lack of lubrication, which is a failure that we're going to see primarily and relatively quickly within sleeve bearings. Ball bearings, on the other hand, can run for decades without being lubricated and often not have any problems. So, since the failure point in most fans is the sleeve bearings locking up due to lack of lubrication, I tend to think that this fan may last quite a long time because of the ball bearings. I've also noticed that the motor seems to be a very good fit for the blades. It has a very good range in speeds. The low is kind of slow and calm and the high is powerful and the medium is somewhere in between. I've also noticed that the motor stays quite cool as it's running. The rise above the ambient temperature is quite limited, which is good. So a cool running motor and ball bearings should result in a fian that lasts a long time. Other than the ball bearings, there's really nothing particularly notable about the fian itself. It's decently sturdy. In fact, it's it's more sturdy than I thought it would be, given the the uh, thinness of the wire gauge. It, you know, it can be bent, but it's it's not super flimsy at all. The uh, stand has some rubber feet on it. These are kind of hard, very hard rubber. They should be softer if you was to put it on a table or something, but since it's a floor fan only, I guess it's irrelevant. It has a good handle on the back. It has the speed control, which starts on low, which is kind of uncommon, but that's something I prefer. I prefer the startup on low. Motor is grounded. That's good. It is a, uh, a vented motor, and it's in like the pole style, which is something that Lasco has done in more recent times. I think those get pretty good airflow through them, so that could have something to do with why it runs cool. It is uh, a PSC motor, though. It's not a shaded pole motor. It's got the cord wrap on it, which is nice. The cord is, is a little bit on the short side. It's only about, I don't know, maybe six feet. It's kind of limited. Yeah, I'd say six or seven feet only. It is a polarized, uh, not a polarized plug, it's a three three pin plug. And it has the fuse, which is the replaceable. It's a five amp fuse. It's got this thing, a piece of paper on there, like all the new fans do, which is ridiculous. Comes apart easy for cleaning, just these clips. So um, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. We're testing at 121.4 of the volts. And get the camera out of the windscreen. 
and we'll start it up on the low. It does have a startup sound, but it's nowhere near what was shown in that particular video. Okay, it's up to speed now. Let's take a look at the wattage. That is the 42 watts. 0.35 amps and a power factor of 0.95 now it's up to 0.99 and uh, for a 14 inch fan I would say it's moving a decent amount of air it's not outrageously powerful but you can feel it quite powerfully across the room and uh, the noise level is very reasonable for the amount of air that it's putting out and the balance is surprisingly good. It's not completely flawless, but it's very close. It's close enough that I would not bother to mess with it at all. And of course, also being ball bearing, it's not so much of a big deal if it's out of balance, even significantly out of balance, because the bearings will take a fair bit of abuse, a lot more than a um, sleeve bearing would. Furthermore, you could always just replace the bearings if they wore out, which you can't necessarily do on a sleeve bearing motor. As you can see it's moving a decent breeze. Okay, our power factor went down to 0.98. Watts are still at 42. Let's go ahead and go to the medium. Good increase in airflow. Now it's pulling 44 watts, which is marginally more. It's drawing 0.37 amps, and we have a power factor of 0.96. Now it's moving quite a bit of air. Power factor is up to 0.99. Not sure why it keeps changing. Maybe the meter is flaky. Still a pretty strong airflow. Well, of course, it's going up in speed. Uh, now let's go to the high. And let's see, we have 0.43 amps, 52 watts, and a power factor of 1. So 52 watts, it's right where it should be. It's rated for 50 at 120 volts or 121 something volts. So 50 is almost exactly what it's claiming to draw. And uh, it's moving a lot of air. See here, it's a very strong breeze coming out of there. balance is actually kind of impressive for a modern fan. It's almost perfect. And there's not very many fans sold to, or made today that have decent balance. And it's still at a very moderate volume level too. It's not at all loud. isn't super shallow but it's not really anything spectacular either.
Okay, now I'll switch it off. see the ball bearings in action now it's taking quite a while to spin down and there it goes blade says riveted set it's got a uh, probably aluminium hub it's, it's not bad not bad at all. Of course time will tell, but for now it seems pretty decent.